looking for a place to do some work, do some video edits before my flight. It's like, the flight's in like an hour. Oh. What's going on here? Hey, uh, is this, are you, are you a vlogger? Are you a vlogger? Yeah, can I, do you mind if I sit? Is that cool? Uh, yeah, wait, uh, how many subscribers do you have? Like, only like 90. Sorry, the um, city section take. Is he interested in this? Oh, it's... Is he still but, uh, Sorry, it's 100 plus. Bye, Mom. The bag weight limit is 50 pounds. Ding, 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 ding. Bye, thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to have to uh, um, check your bag. Oh, no. Welcome to Chicago. It's freezing outside. I'm extremely glad that I don't live here. I'm on my way to my connecting flight. I have about two hours until I go to Munich, Germany. What? That's right. I am going to Munich, Germany right now. I'm sorry, German speakers. That's all the German I know. For now, I'm super excited to go to Germany. I've never been before, and I've always wanted to go. While I'm there, I'm gonna probably find some schnitzels. But I must confess, I'm just going to the airport. I'm not actually going into the... Where in the world am I going? Only time will tell. Schaltzeichen ausgeschaltet sind. Sollten Sie während des Fluges ein Gepäckfach öffnen, achten Sie bitte darauf, dass keine Gegenstände herausfallen können. Do you have a long fly? So sad. Don't worry though, I got you. Step one, get yourself some earplugs. Step two, neck pillow thing. Yeah, this one's important. Step three, sleeping mask. Don't forget, get yourself some comfortable Flexible clothes. This one's important, y'all. Prescription sleep medicine. Mmm, that's the stuff. Good night. One, two. I slept the entire flight. Oh, I woke up 10 minutes before we were gonna land, and I had to beg them to change. I was in sweatpants. Can you please let me change? They're like, alright, just go, just get in there. So, alright, really quick. Everyone, this is John. Hey, nice to meet you, Will. I'm in Germany right now. It's really cool. Everyone speaks German here. <laughs> First thoughts, it's very clean, but we all expected that. It seems really nice. I learned how to say three German words today in the last 10 minutes. First word is hallo. A thank you is danke. And then how are you is... I forgot, I'm sorry. Wie geht es dir? But uh, right now my mission is to find some delicious uh, German food. Maybe some like schnitzels. Schnitzel hunt? This is the place we are going to go look. It's like fresh pretzels and smongrel and fish nost. Oh my god, no idea what any of this stuff is. Shrimp on that sandwich. That's a shrimp sandwich. This is the airport. I'm not at a grocery store right now. This is crazy. Pretzel with gouda. Oh my god. No, no, no. We want this meat pretzel. Yeah, that's gonna have to happen. I just got to wherever I'm going. It's still a secret. Today's theme, I want to talk about traveling solo and how awesome it is and how it will set you free. So when you travel solo, you will allow yourself to step out of your comfort zone. When you travel with somebody, it's usually you two that are kind of experiencing the world. Sometimes what that can mean is that you will be judging the experience around you instead of being curious and interested about the experience and the environment around you. Today, I wasn't traveling with anybody and I got to talking to several different people. I got three different business cards of people that ha I had phenomenal interactions with. If I was with somebody, 
I would have no reason to want to talk to the person in front of me or the person next to me or just say, hey, how's your day going? But I got to talking to this gentleman named John. It turns out he is a 20 year veteran with an amazing story that's honestly a little heartbreaking. Overcame tremendous adversity to now run his own business internationally. And he had an amazing message, which was essentially, your happiness and your life are in your control. He woke up one day and he realized he wasn't a victim of his past. He was the champion of his future, which I completely believe in and empathize with. And he's just a beautiful person I met today. And I know I'm gonna see him again because we instantly connected and bonded. That is a specific example of how traveling solo, you kind of opened up to meet people. So I call on you guys, whenever you travel, try to take a chance and travel by yourselves. It doesn't have to be to another country of people you don't know, but maybe you're going to a different state, to a new city you've always wanted to go to. Uh, maybe it's a place that's a couple hours from your house, like a tourist site that you've always wanted to check out. None of your friends want to go. It's okay to take a chance, go by yourself. Um, you might be surprised kind of the beauty and the things that you find. Because we're not focused on kind of making somebody else happy with you. You can actually think about yourself, but what winds up happening is, is that you look at the world around you and you start to notice all the beauty and the brilliance that there is there. Okay, um, so I just got to the airport. I just got my bags and I need to go check in at my hostel. You guys still don't know where I am right now. <laughs> Jake's solo travel tips. So you just got off the plane, new country. Uh, the first few things you wanna do, number one, get your public transport ticket to wherever you're going out of the airport. So here it's the train bus station, right? And usually it's something official. What you don't wanna do is get picked up by these guys like the independent taxi drivers that pick people up as they leave. Um, they're, dude, they're in every city. It doesn't matter where you are, at every country. Basically, they're like either private taxis or Uber drivers or whoever, but they're trying to do it off the system. And they usually charge you a crazy amount. And they're looking specifically for tourists like you and me who don't know what the hell they're doing. So what I always do, as soon as I leave like the the, end, the exit way, I just immediately can make a beeline for somewhere. So it looks like I know where I'm going. I have no idea where I'm going. But if it looks like I know where I'm going, then they usually don't say, hey buddy, hey buddy, it's only $500 to go down the street. Um, yeah, so first things first, get your public transport. Don't take the uh, um, overpriced taxi guys. Next thing you wanna do is get cash. Go to an ATM. Sometimes at the airports there might be an extra fee or whatever, but dude, it's way better than taking your cash in the US and doing the conversion thing at a US airport because those middle ground services, those like middleman services, uh, they charge like a stupid amount. It might literally be a 20% change to convert. So if you take 100 US dollars, you wanna convert it, you might actually only get 80 US dollars worth of the money you transfer. So just wait to get here and usually your credit card will charge you or your debit card will charge you a fee but it's usually like a 2% withdrawal fee or maybe it might be like $5 to take it out of an ATM here and like an extra $2 from a local ATM. So whatever. Some people they take out all the cash they need for their entire trip. Maybe you're gonna be here in a place for a week so you take out 300 bucks. You might lose ten dollars off of that from like from like your bank and then this bank's ATM fees but small price to pay. The next thing that's extremely important is you need to get a get a SIM card for your cell phone. Don't be the person that shows up in a foreign country and doesn't have access to a cell phone because then you can't look at Google Maps, you can't look at Google Translate, and you're more or less worthless. So get a SIM card, usually in an EU country or something, it might cost you 20 bucks for more than enough data that you can use while you're here. Get it here, get it at the airport, just do it while you're here, you don't have to worry about it. You can get on the internet, you can check emails, you can look up directions, and you can look up how to say please and thank you. Which brings me to my last point. Figure out how to say hello, figure out how to say thank you in whatever country you're in. I always ask the border guards because they're usually cool, they're checking my passport, and I'd be like, hey, what's going on? And then I'll be like, how do you say thank you in your language? Hello, hello, and thank you is kusunam. There you go, look, I already learned two words in 10 minutes. When you go up to somebody who works like an airport or they work like a really tedious job, like maybe doing security, and you say hello and thank you in their native language, as a foreigner, that means a lot. Do yourself a favor, figure out how to say hello and thank you, use Google Translate, ask somebody, and a little bit just goes a long way, trust me. Perfect example. These nice gentlemen, I asked them how to say what's going on. So what's news, Musug.
but it's very personal, so you wouldn't say it to strangers. Okay, uh, I've gotten my cell phone. 14 euros are like 15 or 16 bucks. One gig for 30 days, chill. And I got my train ticket, about $3.6. And I'm set, so I need to go get on the train and then go to my hostel. A 30 minute bus ride later, and I'm here in downtown, I don't know, where am I? I'll show you guys some of the beautiful sights and hopefully you can guess. If not, then I'll tell you in tomorrow's vlog, all right? Next week. <laughs> cool, I'm so excited. <laughs>